Well, welcome everybody. Uh, we're turning back the clock again to 2014. It's somewhat like back to the future here uh, at Pool Speedway. Uh, tonight, of course, uh, on a more serious note, we have dedicated the recording of the 2014 final to our good friend Gordon Day. And of course, everybody, uh, the tributes have been pouring in. Everybody is devastated to hear that Gordon passed away on Thursday last week. So uh, we just wanted to catch a word, first of all, with Midlow. Uh, before we begin our chat, to say it's been a tragedy, hasn't it, Midlow? Um, unfortunately, Gordon's irreplaceable at Pool Speedway, uh, and a little bit of Pool Speedway history, I think, has gone. Yes, that's right. I think, you know, with Gordon, everybody knew Gordon. I mean, he was at Pool Speedway. Anybody would come to me and ask me about Pool Speedway, and, and I'd say, ask Gordon Day. Well, Gordon knows everything about Pool Speedway. And, uh, the last year or so, he's been coming to my coffee shop, and so I see him every Sunday. So, yes, it's a great loss to, to, to Paul Speedway and Speedway in general. He's a lovely guy. Lovely guy, the likes of not, uh, we, well, the likes of which we probably never see again. Our, uh, our condolences to Gordon, his fa to Gordon's family, to Barbara in particular. Uh, and we hope that uh, after all of this coronavirus and COVID 19 is over, we can get together and give Gordon the kind of send off that I know he would have attracted, uh, I'm absolutely sure. Speedway people from all over the UK and all over the world will want to join in uh, passing their condolences and tribute to Gordon. Um, all right, let's get back to 2014. And uh, tonight we're joined, uh, thankfully, by the guys all the way from Poland, uh, Szymek Pawlicki and Magic Janowski, uh, as well as, of course, the governor, Midlow. Welcome, guys. Great to see Hello. you. It's been a little while. Um, and I'm going to address the elephant in the Zoom straight away. Uh, I'm going to talk about the, uh, the un unbelievable celebration that we've just seen, having watched that final that you two guys came up with after Heat 15, um, which actually nearly closed Pool Speedway down, I think. Uh, <laughs> imagine at the time I asked you, how did you come up with the idea? You said you've been planning it all week. Is that right? Um that was yeah actually yeah that was in in our our head before the meeting uh, we we talked about that and we said like hey, it would be cool to do something like that we didn't know uh, what can happen if we if we actually do that but uh, yeah yeah but uh, i think that was uh, that was pretty emotional and uh, after after the meeting uh, and uh, actually after the last hit we was uh, we were so happy and we, we want to uh, celebrate with with straight with the fans and and uh, this is actually what we what we've done. Uh, we didn't we didn't know uh, that can make a lot of troubles, but uh, uh, on the end uh, actually it was okay. So I don't know how much Matt Matt pay for that, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was good. And people was, and, and fans was like it. Oh, the fans loved it. I think one of the most memorable things about 2014 was that moment. Uh, big in my mind and everybody else that saw it. Nothing like that before or since. Um, Shamek, I can tell you that um, since then, they've put up fences and gates and uh, the, the, the stewards have been told they, under no circumstances, can the bikes go uh, in with the crowd. It was a huge deal. And in, in fact, I'm told that even the fire brigade came because the smoke was so much, it set off the fire alarms in the bar. <laughs> no, <laughs> I think it's not so much. I, I, it's like, uh, what say, magic. This is like after the last hit and uh, we are really happy we win the meeting and we win the league and uh, we wanted to celebrate with the fans. And uh, we don't think about, uh, we do, we do, too much, uh, uh, you know, like this. But uh, anyway, uh, I think uh, what 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 you do for a gold medal and everything would you do and uh, this is good. I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. And yeah, I think maybe. The people, <laughs> you know, they, they they complained about. It. I thought it was fantastic. You know, it was absolutely brilliant. Right. Midlow, did you have any idea they were going to do that? No, not really. No, I certainly didn't. It wasn't until I saw the smoke coming from the from the grandstand I realised what was going on. <laughs> well, none of us had, a, had an idea, uh, and it was simply masterful, a brilliant stroke. Let's talk about the meeting itself. 
Uh, and all I can remember before the meeting was how bad the weather was. Um, it had been a terrible week building up to it. I think we possibly even lost the first attempt to stage it. Um, and in the end, the conditions, it was raining on and off. Guys, Magic, you know, what was it like coming to the meeting knowing the weather was so bad and having rain coming in and out? Um, actually, you know what? Actually, I think that was our second ah. uh, final with uh, with not so good weather. I remember when we go to Birmingham, uh, to Birmingham and the track was uh, was disaster. Was was so rough and was really hard to race. But uh, you know, um, we was a good whole season and um, we feel strong. Uh, we have great team, great atmosphere in our team. So. Um, we was ready for for fight. We was ready for war, and uh, and that was only thing what we uh, what we want to do. We, uh, we before the meeting, our plan was to to bring an, another gold uh, for the club. Uh, so, um, like Greg says, couple years ago to me, we love the rain. So um, <laughs> that's not that's not that not not always uh, work for me, but. Uh, uh, I, I remember a couple couple meetings uh, when rain actually uh, was 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 good and helping me. So um, we focus about our our team and we just go for another gold. Midlo, for you um, meeting Coventry again and having the ghost of two thousand and ten when the Coventry team came and overturned us and Chris Harris did that amazing walk of Lazarus getting up from that been run over. Um, for you, that was really laying that ghost, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. I think, you know, Coventry, although, you know, dare I say it, it, it they're a long way away, but it was a real derby between Coventry and the Pirates always. And as you said, 2010 sort of still sticking to me throat. But I mean, fair play. They, you know, Bomber was brilliant that night and they deserved to win. But yeah, to, to, to get them over the uh, to win in 2014 was, was, was payback. Absolutely right. And uh, it was interesting that Chris Harris was back again uh, and that you were able to, uh, to defeat him. Of course, Chris went on later on, as we'll see in a, in a future programme, um, to lead the Pirates. So uh, it's a funny old game, Speedway. Shamek, you've got some company there. Tell us who you've got with you. Yeah, this is my son. This is my old one. I thought it was. Yeah, he has two, two and eight months. Yeah. He, he he looks as though he's enjoying himself. <laughs> yeah, he always wants to do what his father is doing. So, you know, yeah. he tried to be close. We'll watch out for him in a few years' time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be on a bike in a few years' time. <laughs> you never know. Maybe he will be another uh, pool rider. So, <laughs> we'll see. Never know. we we'll see. Midlow, keep your eyes open. <laughs> yeah, always do. You've got a bit of a beard. No trouble with the hair during the during the lockdown, but you've got the beard. Yeah, no, it's just, just a bit bored. I just thought I'd grow it for a little while to see uh, um, what it's like. I've, I've had a few comments. You know, most, most of them bad, to be fair, but uh, <laughs> it's okay. I'll, I'll shake it off when, when, when the lockdown finishes. I'll take it off. Yeah, take it off and stick it on the top. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Magic, let's get back to the meeting. And um, you were captain because, of course, Darcy became injured. Uh, he couldn't race. You took on the captaincy. Big honour for you. Yeah, of course. Um, actually, you know what? I always, uh, I never looked for that. Um, um, uh, I was the captain or, or, or still in Poland, I'm, I'm the captain. I, I think uh, uh, if, we, if you have a very good group of people, uh, group, good group of riders and you all uh, become your, like fr you become your friends and uh, you all feel very good each other then it doesn't matter because uh, you actually feel uh, you feel help uh, from other riders you know always and uh, doesn't matter who who will be a captain in that time we have great team and we we all support each other and uh, um yeah, like like I said, I never I never uh, feel that uh, that's a, that's a big deal for me to be a, be a captain. Of course, um, sometimes you need to say something before the meeting or uh, be more uh, be more teammate 
and try to be more teammate in um, in your when when you ha when you actually have bad meetings, you know, it's it's hard in, in speedway uh, to still push your push your uh, uh, friends to for better racing when when you have not so good meetings, you know. So um, that's difficult in speedway, but uh, like I say, I was a great team and. Um, everyone every each, each of us ca ca could be a be, be a captain so um yeah but uh, yeah but uh, if, if you ask if that was the owner yeah of course yeah we we, we had such good team spirit I think, you know uh, we had you know with darcy was there in the pits chris was there in the pits everybody was there even though they weren't on the track with us they were on the track with us if you know what i mean and i think magic and shamik i mean they, they were so keen to do well um the club's got a lot of history, and I just think that the, the whole team gelled. And and, and Batch and, and uh, Nick Morris coming in, they wanted to put one over on Coventry because they'd been knocked out by Coventry before. So they, they were as keen to win as we were, which was, which, which, which again, was, was a great thing. Yeah. Yeah. Midlow, you've been to all of the meetings, and, and the meetings we've seen so far, we've had uh, different riders in different eras for the Pirates, all playing their part, and they've taken away gold medals. But you've been there for every one of them. Um, you're the ever present, as it were. Um, do the nerves still get to you? I mean, I remember when I asked Dave and Chris uh, about whether they were nervous, and I asked them how you approached the final. Um, they said you spent most of the time telling people that you were quite calm and not nervous, but that was the way you dispelled your nerves. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think it, it's you know we've got eight titles, haven't we? I mean, it's pretty impressive, and you know, but every final. Yeah, sure, I'm nervous, but I mean, my job is to is to instill confidence in the boys. My job is to people manage to make sure they're happy, they, they see me confident, that makes them confident, and then and then we have a good team. We have a, and we win, and I think it's important that we all work as as a team. It it was a dramatic final. It was tense to begin with. Um, in the first three or four heats, uh, Coventry were were holding the Pirates to their own. In fact, they even got uh, they they drew level. Um, in fact, they did they get ahead? No, they drew level uh, on the night. So yeah, it was always tense. And it wasn't really until the second half of the meeting that the Pirates got control. And in the second half of the meeting, there were lots of three alls. Were you content to sit once the Pirates had got, they've got an 11 point lead on aggregate. Were you content to sit yeah. with that lead and, and just consolidate that? Yeah, that, that, that's what I always say to the boys. I mean, when, you know, we had the lead, once we got the lead, we got, I think we got a couple of five ones mid-meeting, which put us in front. And then after that, I said, basically, three alls all night will do us. Just, you know, don't lose position by trying to beat somebody. Just keep, you know, as long as we don't get heat advantages against us, we're going to win. Yes. Now, Magic, I've got a good question for you because I was watching Heat 13, which was the heat where the championship came home uh, and you won that race in the restart, I think it was. Um, you, um, you, we went out and you only had to get anything but them getting a heat win. So a three all would have been fine. And you had a second place, but you took quite a risk and came through in heat number 13 to win it, even though you didn't need to. That was important to you. Um, yeah, of course, you know, if you are the rider, you always get to the tape and you want to win. Uh, whatever happened, um, you always try to do your best. Of course, like Milo says, uh, sometimes uh, you need to look through the points and keep your position. But uh, if if you if you feel uh, um, if you feel strong at the time, then you can do this. And uh, I think uh, you know uh, I was. Uh, I was feeling very good, and uh, my my three years in in pool, I think that was a very very uh, special time for me. And uh, in in these three years, my I, I believe my uh, my riding uh, level go very much higher than than before. And uh, and uh, and yes, so um, I was feeling very very good, and I really enjoyed racing on this track and um so yeah so that's why i uh, um i don't if i when i when i start to uh attack uh, I, I don't remember who was 
leading uh, then. But uh, when I was attacking him, uh, uh, that was not the, the the risk. I think that was uh, that was plan, and and because I was feel uh, speed in my bike, that's why that's why I I try to do that. Well, you you made a good job of it, and you got well ahead once you got past. So you definitely had the speed. Shamek, I'll ask you about heat number eleven because you both rode together. Uh, I think three races you rode together and in heat number eleven. Um, Hans Anderson um, got you right down on the line uh, on the inside line. Uh, you obviously hit it hit into him. Magic hit you. The two of you went down in a big heap. It looked as though it could have been really nasty. Uh, an unpleasant crash. Were you okay after that? Yeah, yeah, we are we are okay because uh, next hit we raced again. I don't uh, I don't uh, think about this my fault in this 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 place. But uh, yeah, we are ready for the next hit, and uh, I think uh, I think uh, I am uh, I go out and Magic only race this hit, and uh, he I think he win. I don't remember 100%, but but uh, I think I am excluded. Yes, you, you were excluded from the restart of Heat 11, but uh, and in the commentary, um, it was feared that you might not, we might not see you for the rest of the night because it was your last programmed ride. And uh, I was pleased to see that you came out in Heat 15 uh, because it meant that you were okay. And is it important if you have a crash to get back on the bike quickly and to get back on and and, uh, and see the track again. Yeah, after the crash, uh, first first thing is like uh, you think about your body and if you feel good. Uh, the first thing is like uh, you must go to the pits. Sometimes uh, you must wait a little bit more time in the track because you must give more time uh, mechanic for do the bike in the pits. But uh, yeah, you think about uh, after the heat for, for the next heat, and uh, uh, it's good uh, after the like that situation when you feel good. It's good when you finish the meeting like a normal heat. Magic said how happy he was at pool, and I know uh, I agree with him that his career took off and got much better from that time. Uh, for you, it was your second time to ride for Paul uh, in 2014, uh, and you really did. Uh, you really did enjoy your time at Paul. I remember talking to you later, and you saying you loved to come to Paul. Yeah, I, I really love come to Paul, and sometimes when we come to Paul with magic, we don't think about the back to the home, <laughs> and uh, we spend time in England. Yeah, we have. Uh, friends in in uh, pool in in Bournemouth in close to the pool we spend good time in Mark place uh, he have like wake park we we many time come come there and spend good time when we don't have a meeting uh i remember we we come to the sponsor of the club uh, and a uh, good guy uh he have the company Vesex Marine and we spend Dave, uh, David David yeah to Dave and uh, we spent uh, many time in in uh, in uh, with 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 him and uh, and anyway uh, we spent more many time in uh, Matt house but i think uh, yeah that uh, was a really cool cool time <laughs> uh, especially evening especially evening was yeah, good especially evening <laughs> <laughs> many many time we play fifa and uh yeah i have a, i have a, like uh, because i see before present from matt he give me the my idol uh you know leo messi with with autograph when i have the birthday wow i yeah that is cool cool present Always generous. Magic, um, I remember Matt told me that if if the team did badly and you were living with Matt when you would be here in Pool, you would live in Matt's house. And if the team did badly, you wouldn't like to go home. Is that right? Um, 
<laughs> maybe on the beginning, maybe on the beginning, you know, I was a little bit stressed uh, to live in uh, to live in my boss uh, boss house, and when we lose, I was maybe a little bit stressed. But then, uh, then when I uh, when I start to know Matt more, then it was okay. I was uh, I was I was more brave. <laughs> no, 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 no. I remember the deal. Magic scare about because the deal is like when we lost the meeting, the rider pay, pay for the eat. <laughs> ah, pay for the food, pay for, for the dinner. Pay for the food. And, yeah, maybe. I mean, <laughs> and because Magic then was back to all. <laughs> maybe, now, maybe. Now we know the truth. The truth will always out. Oh, no, I joke, I joke. <laughs> Midlow, um, how good was it to have these guys in the team um, because they bounced off each other uh, and although um, there is, you know, let's admit there's slight language issue, um, these guys, I mean Magic speaks really well, uh, so does uh, so does Shamek, uh, but it's great to have these guys in the team to bounce off of. Yeah, I think that's it. I think you, you, you've got to have a, a good team and I think the Shamek and Magic being there they've got the Polish thing going, they, they can chat. I mean, they mix with everybody. We had to say we had a good team spirit, but it's just nice to be able to talk to somebody in, in your native tongue. And I think that's what, you know, made Shamak and Magic such a great pairing. And I mean, the crowd absolutely loved them. And, you know, we, we still love them now. I mean, I'd love to see Magic and Shamak back at all one day. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's very important that you have a friend in the team, not just a teammate. I think these two are great friends. It, it clearly is the case and they've made many friends as well and i have to agree with you neil that um at any point one of the one of the um, most loved i think apart from darcy ward the most loved rider that's been at pool in recent years magic everybody says we want magic back what chance would there be for that to happen uh with uh, with the calendar that you have now uh, what chance of a return to the uk magic what would it take Oh, you know, I, I uh, believe me, I, I really miss uh, miss that place, miss uh, all of you guys, uh, Midlo, your family. I I miss Matt and uh, all the people around uh, around the stadium. Um, actually, now uh, when I'm uh, when I uh, start racing in uh, in um, GPS, is you know, it's, it's more more uh, more things uh, around me and. Uh, with Swedish league and Polish league, um, we will see. We ne we never know what what future will bring. Um, I believe that uh, one day I I can I can come again and 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 ride on this uh, great stadium. Um, was was close to come uh, when when Milo was organized his uh, his meeting, uh, but uh, still we did we, we didn't know what what future will bring. I, I, um, I think I think positive, and uh, and I hope uh, one day I can come back and uh, and and uh, and race on this stadium and see you guys. Whatever happens, you'd always be a very welcome visitor, and you, Shamek, too. You'd always be welcome at pool, uh, and and you were a big, big part of that. Both of you were a big, big part of that 2014 success. You really earned your gold medals. Would you agree, Midlow? Yeah, this one. <laughs> do, do you ever take that off? Do you, do you take it off in the bath? <laughs> no, I've got all eight of them. I wear all eight every night. <laughs> <laughs> it helps you sleep. <laughs> it helps me sink in the bath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it, yeah. Um, Shamik, um, what, what about you? Would you love to come back to the UK and, and maybe even put on, hey, Midlow's got the team photo ready. Love that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that was a really cool time and uh, what would say in Magic, I missed like uh, many times when we talk together, if we spend uh, time, uh, we talk about the England and uh, we talk about the, uh, you know, spend the time in England in pool, like and uh, we see, I don't know what, what now, but uh, now we are, you know, have a situation what we have and uh, we race only Poland. But uh, you never know, and uh, if if uh, everything come come back to normal, like uh, we see what's happened. But but uh, I think uh, if I have a sh some chance come back to the England race, uh, 
I come back. We'd love to see you, but just remember if you come back, there's no more racing into the crowd. You can't do that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> they will stop. We cannot you. promise right. that. We cannot promise that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to think of something else. Yeah, something else would be good. Um, you guys in Poland, um, I think in the UK, we're hearing that you may even race behind closed doors, that you would have meetings and no crowd. Do you think that would happen? I think this this would, will actually happen. And we start uh, on 12th next month. And, uh, and uh, yeah, we start with, with no, no crowd. So uh, what is actually is, I don't know. I don't know what to think about this because, you know, it's, it's not the same. It's not no. the same thing. No, I, th I think magic, I think what you say with the people, like when, when you watch the 2014 meeting, on here you know you, you can hear the crowd and it's so so good to hear the crowd and i know in poland with the big crowds you have i mean you, you definitely hear it and it helps you doesn't it yeah you know that's that's give you uh give you this like uh this en uh, like energy you know yeah. this energy this positive stress because of course you're a little bit stressed but uh, uh the stress become uh, become your become your red bull you know that's give it, you yeah. wings you know <laughs> <laughs> and um, good commercial and yeah and uh, yeah <laughs> so it's hard to think about how this will look without the without the crowd because uh the crowd is the the big part of this sport and uh um we we want to give fans the best show you know and if we don't have fans it's this will be more like a like a practice race you know uh, so um it's it's hard, it's hard. I, I never i never been in the situation to uh, race without the fans so no nobody's been in this situation yeah really. nobody's so, in this situation i know but it's so, <laughs> so this will be something new but i i'm not a big fan of that i'm i'm guessing it would be like going to a gp practice but it would be a real meeting but uh, you know on gp practice you you also have uh, one one place for fans to uh, to watch practice, you know. <laughs> so you always have fans. Yeah, even that. Of course. Now, have you been able to prepare and get things ready for the season when it starts? And how hard is it for you to keep fit and be race ready? Because I'm guessing that riders always want to be sharp by being on a bike so not being able to be on the bike must be hard yeah you know we um that's that's the main main part of our uh, of our sport to race on, on on the bikes um of course we can use some motocross bikes now and uh, some different kind of bikes but it's not the same uh, we never used to have that long break like in this year uh, but uh, yeah just we just wait and um we'll see what happens but uh you know uh, that we all train hard uh we have a uh, long winter uh we all spend a lot of time on 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 the fitness gyms and running cycling um so now we need to just uh, uh be sure we, we don't lose all this work so just keep keep working but uh, but of course not that much like in the winter but yeah stay in, stay stay fit stay in shape um and be ready so we, and and actually we are so i'm glad to hear that you're ready shamek um it must be difficult financially uh, we've just seen that you've got uh, a young family um it must be hard uh if you don't have any earnings any money coming in it's it's hard, but but you know uh, you must think uh, before about that because uh, speedway is my life and uh, I love race the bike. But anyway, I must think about because still I have uh, still I have a like family and uh, you never know. My dad race in in the speedway and uh, broke the back and uh, he finished the career. But uh, he still think about uh, he have a like family. And uh, he must think about uh, what he do uh, because you know money for life you must have. And uh, yeah, 
always he he works and uh yeah now i uh, focus i concentrating uh, 100% about my career about my sport uh but uh, if something happen we 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 will see but uh, i don't care about that uh, i never care uh, what i do uh, i love work <laughs> i i uh, i work like everything like uh, you know uh, if you want uh, building the sauna call to Przemek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he, what he tried to say is like uh, uh, of course we we look for all, all the all the different scenario and uh, we all try to invest some money and keep don't spend everything you know so uh, of course it's very hard because we all have uh, big teams and workshops parts uh, we spend a lot of money for the uh, for uh, for this season and and we already have uh, a big uh, big difference in our contracts in this year in Poland uh, so it's of course not easy, but uh, that's uh, that's difficult situation for all of us, and uh, uh, in all of different kind of uh, lifestyles and companies. So uh, we, yeah, we just need to handle that and uh, uh, try to uh, try to survive and and wait for better time. You know. Yes, and I guess I mean people watching uh, will will know exactly what that feels like. People that are in that situation with businesses, uh, I mean I'm sure Midlo it must be difficult for you too. Um, your business currently all on hold, uh, and a lot of people that don't have an income other than their business, um, so everyone's suffering. Yeah, no, no. So my my internet connection is like yeah, no, it, it's tough times. I mean I think. You know, my business is shut at the moment. Um, I don't know whether it's going to be two weeks, three weeks or whatever, but if I can open again. Um, but like, you know, Shamak and Magic, at least they've got Speedway. And and uh, that's, that's one thing. And hopefully, you know, in the UK here, we'll be able to watch it online if we can't even get there. But at least you guys have got the Speedway. So lucky you. Shamak, I was going to ask you, because when we were speaking just before we came on the air, um, you have Piotr's race team shirt on uh, and Piotta was obviously a part of pool uh, road for the pirates is Piotta okay yeah Piotta is everything cool uh he don't still have a like uh contract with with the Lesh, no he have some some contract but uh he don't uh have a like uh like uh that provided warunki they don't get and uh, they still don't get any agreement with uh, with the yeah with, with a contract for the, for this year so they still talk yeah. and, and wait yeah but anyway everything cool he's uh he every day like uh train and uh he wait for the season well give him our best we remember him with fondness at pool uh and he'd be welcome anytime you know that okay now, you. do you two do you two live close to each other? Are you nearby to each other? Do you get to see each other? Um, yeah, we yeah. live. Oh. Yeah, go 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 ahead, Chen. Go ahead. And come on, come on, come on. Because I, I think you asked about uh, we live together with me and my brother, but you asked about me and Magic, yeah. I was asking about you two. Yeah, Magic and Shamek. Do you live together? Uh, not together, but do you live uh, nearby <laughs> enough to see yes. each other? Some, some, sometimes we live together. <laughs> yeah, we have we have like uh, now when they fix the road to Leszno from Roslav, we have uh, on fast car we have thirty five minutes. So okay. I've I've been in a fast car with you, fast. Magic. I've been in a fast car with you. <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah, that's thirty five minutes, and we actually we spend a lot of time uh, together and with our families, and uh, yeah, we used to go. For holiday together and yeah so we're still we're still friends that's good to know that's good to know midlo it sounds like uh, it's not just the drink that gives him wings no no absolutely not i mean this, this particular time we, we were late getting into i can't remember where it was the police stopped us saw it was shamik and they went okay follow me and then we just the copper just took off on his bike like and, and we're chasing him down the road in, in shamik's mercedes it was it was like a movie 
Trucks <laughs> pulling over, cars are getting out of the way. We're going around the town, around the roundabouts the wrong way to get to the meeting. And we made it. I think that was in Gorzhov. That was in Gorzhov. Yeah, Gorzhov. Gorzhov. That was Gorzhov. It was Gorzhov. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We land in we we land in uh, in Poznan, I think. So and uh, we was we was late. That was yeah. Poland against the rest of the world. That's it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah remember that. Yeah, I've 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 still got the video I think on here of the car of the car race. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen has a different profile in Poland to here in the UK. Oh yeah, it it was it, it was funny. I mean, in 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 the UK, you'd have been thrown in jail. You'd have been thrown in jail. <laughs> in Poland, it was like, right, we're going to get you to the meeting. Follow me, and off we go. <laughs> it's so different. I remember seeing a, a film that they did. They did it as a promo uh, with Casper, Casper Voriner, uh, on the on the speedway bike, looking for directions to get to the GP stadium. I think it might have been in Warsaw. That was a great film. <laughs> yeah, but that was didn't good. Magic? Didn't you do the film with you riding round the roundabout? Was that you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've done this with Przemek and Piotr. We've done That's this right. in Lublin. Yeah. yeah. On the, yeah. Sorry? How did that happen? How did that come about? You know, uh, uh, we always try to uh, to get some uh, cool videos and uh, d different crazy stuff with uh, our our company, uh, no, not our company, but our sponsors, uh, Red Bull. And we always talk about different things. And uh, first I used to try uh on much smaller uh, roundabout uh, near to my house uh, that was just random uh, roundabout i just take my bike and go and and try and uh, yeah till i till i showed them uh, the previous video i says we can do this uh, the bikes works very good and we just need to put a little bit more uh, tire pressure and everything looks sweet, you know, we, you have uh, smoke uh, from your tire. So that was, that was pretty cool. And yeah, and we've done this in Lublin. Uh, on the, I think that was middle of the season. Uh, we've done this in Lublin. We had our, that's long story because on, uh, in the morning was a lot of rain. Uh, when we try to race after the rain, we have like few crashes because the uh, bike was like, like on the ice and uh, was was looking very amateur so <laughs> there was there was there was uh, there was scared and i just says yeah just leave that we wait a few hours we wait for the sun and and then when everything will dry we will uh, go again and when actually um, the asphalt was dry uh, then uh, then the fun part was was started and uh, actually we become we became with uh, with a very cool video and uh, yeah, and that was pretty cool. Yeah, this is a very cool video. I've shown that a few times. Um, Midlow, um, we're gonna we're gonna wrap up in a minute. Um, anything you want to say to these guys because uh, they were such a big part of that success in two thousand and fourteen, um, and we'd love to see them back uh, wearing the pirates' colours. Yeah, of course. I mean, time has changed. I mean, they've they've got their careers in Poland, Sweden, etc. But yeah, great to see the guys. Love loved working with Shamak and Magic. Great friends will always remain great friends, and uh, you know I want to come out to Poland because I've been to a couple of meetings and there is nothing like going to a meeting in Poland. And to see you guys ride there, would love to come and see you guys and maybe have a beer. Yeah, good to hear that, Milo. Uh, if, uh, yeah, when, whenever you will uh, have uh, time and uh, if you want to come to Wroclaw meeting, just send me a message. I I will prepare everything for you to. Uh, Thanks, Mike. Appreciate that. We, we've got to throw a challenge to you as well, probably both of you. Um, Midlow's got his testimonial, uh, and we're going to redo that, aren't we, Neil? We're going to get back to that, um, you know, whenever that takes place. I think you guys probably got an invite. Is that right, Neil? Yeah, pretty much, yep. Yeah. So it's, obviously, it's difficult for these guys with the meetings they do, and um, hopefully we're back to normal next year, and, um, and I'll throw the dates at them. If they can make it, love to see them. There's a bed here for them. There's not a problem. Any Jack Daniels? I know you boys don't drink. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Yeah, hope so. Hope so. We 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 see short time. 
Yeah, if we if we if we have time, uh, if we will be able able to to come for the meeting, uh, you always know that we will come with big smile on our faces and. Uh, Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Always. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Say hello to your family. Eli. Okay. Likewise to all you guys, all your families. Thank you. Nice to hear, guys. Take care. Thanks for the good talk. Thank you. Um, it's been brilliant. Um, lovely to see you two guys looking so well, uh, looking happy. Uh, and uh, Midlow, so proud. You make him a proud father. Is that I right? am. They're all my kids. They're all my kids. They're all my kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, were, we, we are proud to, to, you know, to be a part of this, be a part of this club. So thank you. See you guys. Thank you, thank you for all you've done. You. Brilliant. Take care, you guys. And uh, for everybody. See you, see you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the guys again. We certainly have. Uh, always great to have Midlow. And we'll hear more from Midlow, I think, uh, before this, uh, this is done. Uh, I hope so. Take care, everybody. As always, up the pirates. Thank you. See ya. Thank you.